Thank you for inviting me to speak today. And greetings to you from the European Commission in Brussels. I'd like to talk today about what we can do to support an environment in which devices and the content for them can really thrive. First, there can be no discussion of modern devices without paying tribute to Steve Jobs, a man of great initiative, great innovation, great inspiration. From the first Apple Macintosh to the iPod, iPhone and iPad, today's technological world would not be the same without him. It was my great pleasure to meet him in person, to encounter at first hand his energy and vision. And today it is fitting to recognize his immense contribution. Let's take some time to remember how far we have come. Just 15 years ago, mobile phones were still cutting edge, but fundamentally they were for talking and perhaps texting. The portable devices we have today are a world apart, not just because of their immense memory and computing power, but because of their range of uses. A modern smartphone is a complete toolkit, a digital Swiss army knife. In our pockets are not just phones, but address books, cameras, media players, GPS and limitless sources of information. These massive changes have had an impact on our expectations. Once you had to go to the cinema for audiovisual content, then the TV meant could watch at home. Then the video recorder meant you could watch whenever you wanted. This trend towards flexibility continues. These days people want access anytime, anywhere, anyhow. Even in the few minutes while you are waiting for a bus. And that is what consumers expect. How can we provide it? First, many devices are ever more hungry for radio spectrum. We need to make it easier to anticipate and meet this rocketing demand. The ambitious radio spectrum policy program now agreed within the EU will do this. It sets the framework for the future. It lets us lay out the rails on which to run tomorrow's communications. And it is a big step forward in making Europe the connected, competitive continent. Second, we need to ensure that our devices can travel and be used across Europe. European citizens benefit from freedom of movement within the single market, but it should also be easy for a mobile to be mobile. A coordinated spectrum policy will help here, but we also need to sort out the issue of roaming within the single market. Current high roaming prices can make people wary of taking their devices abroad. My legal proposal would get to the root of this problem and restore competition to the market, giving ordinary users more choice and a fairer deal. Third, devices need attractive content. Otherwise people won't pay the price for the latest gadgets nor for fast internet access. So we need to make life easier for the innovators developing and marketing new content. Too often barriers within the digital single market make that difficult, constraining a sector which should not know internal borders. My colleague uh, Michel Barnier and I want to remove those obstacles so that once you have a product you can easily market it to millions without dealing with 27 different rule books. Getting all this right is not just important to the digital sector, it is essential to our economic future. Just a few weeks ago, on the 23rd October, the European Council met to discuss the economy. We all know the very important and immediate issues which they covered. But they also talked about the long term, the need to stimulate sources of long term growth. ICT already contributes significantly to growth and productivity. It has created millions of jobs and can create millions more. And so the leaders of all EU nations underlined the need to complete the digital single market, to need to stimulate e-commerce, cross-border online services, the essential importance of copyright, identification, e-identification, spectrum policy and all the rest. Your conference asks the questions, will the device will be king? I don't know the answer to that, so I look forward to hearing your views on the subject. 
What I do know is that no one part of the internet ecosystem can survive without the other. Infrastructure, devices, content, they are all mutually self-supporting as supply of one stimulates demand for the others. If we work together to build all those elements, we can create in Europe an engine of innovation and build the foundations for future growth. Thank you.